everyone. I'm here once again with the gut girl. Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right. We're going to talk about one of my favorite topics. Uh, love to talk about amino acids. I've been using amino acids since my early college years, uh, just pounding the amino acids. And so we're going to talk about, and this is, there's so many different opinions and so many, we're talking about what people hear in the gym and, and people use amino acids. Some people say they're useless, just eat protein. You and I both have opinions that are very similar. We'll go over those. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's interesting, the different opinions about, you know, the branch chain amino acids, which are th just three amino acids, which are leucine two to one over isoleucine and valine mm -hmm. found in animal products. And those three are critical for putting muscle mass on and for a lot of other things. And then you have all the essential amino acids. And then you have what, what is there, 22, 23 amino acids? Yeah, there are. That aren't all essential. There's nine. Some people even say there's eight essential. Some even say there's 10. You know, so you have all these different opinions. So um, what we're going to talk about a little bit about things that you hear, questions you have uh, revolving around the gym and what you should do. So what do you got? Okay, so I this is a constant question going on about people in the gym using branch chain amino, amino acids rather than essential amino acids. And I think people just don't know enough about this. They're only getting three of the amino acids. So I personally, if I'm going to do it using it, of course, those are, like you said, those are the big heavy hitters for building muscle, that kind of thing. However, I just use an essential amino acid blend and a high quality one. So I have them daily and sometimes twice a day because I like to get the biggest bang for my buck when it comes to amino acids because they are the they are the building blocks to everything. And not to open this can of worms and get the haters about this, I am not against vegans, but this is a huge piece of the problem when you when you eat vegetarian or vegan is you are not getting the branch chain amino or essential amino acids. So I always in my practice, when I have a vegan or a vegetarian, I always have them put branch chain amino, essential amino acids in their diet because, and see how easy it is to get them mixed up. Um, you know, I just don't even mess with it unless I'm doing something like you and I discussed prior, like how you're doing it. I completely agree with that, how you're doing it as well. Yeah. Um, and it, it, I'm going to say it probably is a waste of money if you just take branch chain amino acids. Um, and it even could be if you're just taking um, essential amino acids, because if you're just taking essential amino acids, you're probably not getting enough leucine. I, so you're not getting enough of the branch chain aminos. So the way I use them is I use both to enhance my meal. Because I can't remember the, the number, but you need three to five grams of leucine just to activate right. these amino acids in your, in your body. So, and I totally agree with the whole vegan thing. And I'm, I'm, people hear me say this all the time. I am not a vegan, but I think you can be a healthy vegan. Two problems with being vegan there's not enough rules because if you're vegan, you can eat junk. Right. You know, Absolutely. You can eat processed foods. There's not enough. We need more rules. If you're going to be a healthy vegan, the right. second thing is they don't get enough protein and they don't get the amino acids in the right ratio. They certainly are not getting enough, uh, leucine, isoleucine and valine because they're not eating animal products. So why not just supplement with them? Right. And it's super easy. <laughs> and the other problem that, that, that I'm seeing nowadays, because now I run almost on everybody, I run a mineral and vitamin test 
on them, which includes um, the essential amino acids is going to come up in that profile. Almost everyone is deficient because our soils are crappy nowadays. We're buying stuff in, you know, big box stores. We're not going to grass fed, grass finished meat. You're getting all of the crap that's in that. So you have to kind of look at your food sources too. That's why I do it daily. And it really, really helps with my energy. Yeah. And I mean, what I do is, for instance, I'll take, um, I'll do my, my protein shake. I, I'll try to remember to put that link in the description on, I, I show, I'm in the kitchen and I show you how I use my, how I do my protein shake. It's about 73 grams of protein and 550 grams of, or 550 calories. But I spike it, something that has 73 grams of protein, which is going to have plenty of leucine. I also spike it with leucine powder. Yes. Yeah. And then on top of that, so I don't think I'm deficient. On top of that, I'll take a couple capsules, branch chain amino acids to bring up my isoleucine and valine. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take three or four capsules of essential amino acids. And then I take some like arginine and citrulline and ornithine and things that aren't essential. So I, I do that because I want my body to have a nice amino acid pool yep. to choose from these amino acids to do whatever my body needs. And so that's how I use them with my, with my protein shake. But if I, like, if I know I'm going out to dinner with my wife and I figure I'm going to have chicken, I will take some amino acids, some capsules before and after. So my body has all the amino acids the branch chain and the essential amino acids, which branch chain amino acids are essential amino acids. That's another way to get them confused because the branch right. chain amino acids are part of the nine essential exactly. amino acids. But I'll take an essential amino acid formula with like, if I have, I'll have like five eggs. That's only 30 grams of protein. I'll spike it with some leucine capsules, some branch chain amino, and it just makes, it enhances my meal. And if you're vegan, try this and, yeah, and you absolutely. will see the difference. But if you're vegan, you need to take more of the branch chain amino acids. Make sure you get your leucine up to about five grams, which is quite a bit. So you can eat, you know, whatever meal you want and then spike it with these essential amino acids and branch chain amino acids and see what happens after what, a couple weeks to a month, you should notice something if you're consistent with it, right? Absolutely. And you should notice, they should notice a good energy spike. That is usually a big complaint of vegetarian vegans is that they have, they're, they don't have a ton of energy and I immediately put them on this type of regimen. And people have to understand that amino acids are not just for building muscle and maintaining yeah. lean muscle. They make up every enzyme in your body. And yes. enzymes, enzymes do what, Nicole? Well, they're the building blocks. <laughs> and enzymes do everything. Yeah, um, everything. And let me just tell you, if you don't have enough amino acids in your body, if you're not putting them in and you're eating a... a a standard American diet, your body will break down your muscle tissue in order to get the essential amino acids. So what happens if you don't have the muscle to help that? You're going to have some problems. You're going to be lethargic. You're not going to heal properly. It makes the whole body system world go round. Absolutely. Because you're tearing your body apart by taking muscle mass, breaking it down into singular amino acids because your body needs amino acids for more than just building muscle, like we just said. And yeah, you're, uh, you're bad off if you're in that, you're, you're basically circling the drain and yes, <laughs> pretty badly. Um, if you're doing that or if you're in that situation, so amino acids are really important. Um, you guys try this and, uh, see what a difference it makes in your life. Um, any last thoughts, Nicole? Sid, I think we covered it. Yeah, pretty short and to the point. Um, 
And, you know, the last thing I would say is that your body has to have protein. It's in, it's essential. Why? Because that's where the essential amino acids are. And so just to kind of make it really simple, we eat the protein to take it apart mm -hmm. and break it down into essential amino acids. Right. Now that goes into what's called an amino acid pool. Now your body takes those singular amino acids and forms chains, peptide right. chains yep. and um, protein chains to do other things in your body for what it needs. That's why we have to have protein. We also Absolutely. need essential fatty acids that comes from fat, hopefully healthy fats. Yes. Fatty acids are essential. So that means we have to eat fat. It's almost impossible not to get any fat in your diet, but if you didn't, you would die. No protein, you're going to die. No fat, you're going to die. Now, carbohydrates. You can live without. Exactly. They're not essential. I mean, not certainly not going to say they're not important. They certainly were for me in college. I would have passed out probably without them, but <laughs> they're not essential. If you don't eat carbohydrates, you're not going to die. You might Correct. not be at functioning at your maximum peak of health, yep. but you're not going to die. So hopefully that explains why our body needs the protein and what's really in the protein that we need. It's the amino acids, particularly the essential amino acids. So Nicole, if uh, somebody, anybody wants to get a hold of you, uh, you know, I love what you do. I love your work, you know, reading blood work and all that stuff. And helping people that are, I, I think the, the biggest impact you have on people's lives is the, the people that are overweight and they, they're, they're trying really hard and nothing's working. They can't figure it out. You help them figure it out. So Absolutely. If, if people want to get a hold of you now, if you mention that you saw this video, you'll give them a hundred dollars off their initial yes. uh, package, right? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. So how do they get a hold of you? They can reach me at the gut girl one at Gmail. And yes, if you just mentioned that you've seen me on a video with Steve, I'll give you a hundred dollars off the initial um, lab review, initial consult, all of that kind of stuff. Right. And that's the number one, not, yes. not that's the number one. Okay. The gut girl one at gmail.com. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me.